So let's balance this equation here and then look at the type of reaction. So we have BAS and PTF2. Barium sulfide and platinum 2 fluoride, might be called platinum difluoride. So the first thing we need to do is count the atoms up. One barium, one sulfur, one platinum, and two of these fluorine atoms. Product side, we have one barium, one sulfur, one platinum, and two fluorine atoms. So this equation, it's already balanced. If you want to look at the type of reaction here, let's first look at the states. So it turns out barium sulfide is slightly soluble. A little bit of it will dissolve. We're going to say it's aqueous, 2.8 grams in 100 grams of water. Platinum fluoride, that is aqueous. That'll dissolve. It's soluble. Barium fluoride is soluble. But the platinum sulfide, and this is insoluble really in all solvents. So what's going to happen is these two will react and we'll get this precipitate. and It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube as a solid. So this is a double displacement reaction. You could call it a precipitation reaction as well. The barium and the platinum, they're just switching places. We have barium sulfide, but now we have barium fluoride in the products. We had platinum fluoride, now we have platinum sulfide in the products. So that's a double displacement reaction where these two metals here switched places. We end up with this insoluble compound, falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. This is Dr. B balancing the equation BAS plus PTF2 and looking at the type of reaction. It's a double displacement reaction. Thanks for watching.